Hello, hello everyone. This is Bronwyn Simcoe Survival. And I'm doing kind of like a quick tip slash review of the um, Kogan's Fire Sticks. Um, Coglin's, Coglin's Fire Sticks. Um, I originally bought these to review for you guys as kind of like a tinder source, but I found out they did not work very well for that. They do work very well for another thing, but as far as, you know, uh, actual kind of tindery type thing, they didn't do very well. Um, in the process of testing them, I found out that there is a way you can use them effectively out in the woods. And um, there is actually reason to carry them, and I actually carry some myself in my fire kit as a result. But um, I replaced one of my fire items with this because this was just more effective. Um, but as far as, you know, camping uses, they aren't very effective because it takes a little bit of time to, to actually light them on fire with a lighter. Um, just not all that great. So I decided to sit down and actually start testing them and playing with them and finding an odd way of using them that works better. Because I find that sometimes that's the case. Sometimes for their intended purpose, they don't really work that well. But when you experiment with them, you can find something that works really, really well. And in that case, in this case, that's exactly what I did. So, let me go over really quick what these essentially are. They're essentially recycled newspapers soaked in wax and accelerants. Um, well, not newspapers, they're, they're kind of like, I don't know, they feel like cardboard to me. Soaked in wax and accelerants, here's kind of a close-up view of them. Um, kind of your standard wooden, you know, paper fire starter. Um, they're very, very light. This whole bag weighs very little. Um, there's, I think, 12 of them in here. Yeah, 12. And um, so they, they aren't heavy. They don't weigh a whole lot. They're pretty compact. So I was thinking, you know, hey, this might be a, a good replacement for a cotton ball or something like that. So I went ahead and started testing them. Found out they will not light with a ferro rod. Half the time, it's hard to get them to light with a lighter. Um, so I decided, you know what? I wonder. And I went ahead, and I grabbed my little fire knife here, which is my elders. And I figured, you know, what happens if I start shaving it like I would fat wood? What would happen then? And um, something interesting happened. So there's my little, my little shavings there. Let me break them off for you. That's, that's kind of what you end up with right there. All right, and um, decided to see how well those things would light with ferro rod. And it turns out, very well. So I decided to go ahead and do a review on them. Now, as a result, this review is not going to be based on their intended purpose. Um, because for their intended purpose, I'm gonna tell you right now, find something else. They aren't very good. But for this new use, the way I've been using them, they actually work very, very well. And one single stick like this can start a lot of fires. I think this amount that I've used right here is about 10 sticks worth or 10 fires worth. And you can see that's, you know, that's how much stick I have left. So I took a couple of these and stuck them in my bug out bag, the fire kit, because they are incredibly light. I mean, they're, they're like <laughs> really light and replaced a couple of fatwood sticks that I had in there with these because I tested them directly side by side to fatwood and these actually burned just as long and when I started fires with them, they started fire just as easily. So I decided this weighs a fraction the amount of fatwood, same size, isn't sticky and um, I can start just as many fires. So let me go ahead and I'll take you over to the stump and I'll show you what I mean. We'll come back and I'll finish up the review for you guys. Very short, very simple. Sweet and to the point. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so right here we have our little fire testing stump, nothing fancy. My ferro rod. And we have the, um, the Coglin's fire stick. And basically all I do is I take and use the spine of my knife. Oh, broke it there. Was waiting for that to happen. I just take, use the Find on my knife, let me just shave off a little bit here, make it a little easier to work. And I just create these little shavings. It's not hard to do. 
it's a pretty soft material so I find that it, it tends to fluff really easily when you do it this way and you just kind of take and pop off a little pile of shavings there you go that's about how many shavings I normally use just a little pile about that big as you can see you don't use much of the stick so let me go ahead and start this up Come on. There we go. Took a little while. The wind was not cooperating with me. Move that out of the way. But as you can see, burns effectively. Um, I would say, in all honesty, that I would potentially replace cotton balls with this. Um, burns plenty long enough. Is extremely compact for the number of fires you get by shaving it like that and burns plenty long enough to start a fire um, and price is really really cheap um, I bought these at Sportsman's Warehouse and I can say that they were about you know, 30 cents or so a stick some somewhere in there um, I'm gonna try to find them on Amazon for you guys and I'll post a link for those of you who don't have a sporting goods store near you um, but I did find them at Sportsman's, so that's where I purchased these. And at 30 cents a stick, for the amount of fires I actually get out of it, it's actually cheaper than cotton balls. And as you can see, it does burn quite well. Now if you did want to extend the burn time of your fire for some reason, you could simply take, like I just did there, cut off a little stick, and just add it in there. Come on. Just cut off some, some other pieces there that are a little bit thicker. And just add it in to your little pile. Just like that. And you can extend the length of your burn time. So you can use as little or as much of this as you want to start a fire um, based on your conditions which I really like. They aren't messy, they don't get um, you know, sap everywhere, they don't get petroleum everywhere. I do like these as a fire starter when used this particular way. But let me go ahead and take you back over to the chair. We'll finish this up and uh, end the review. Be right back. Welcome back. So, my opinion on these, they are a great fire starter. I have replaced cotton balls with them. I'm not sure if I'd replace all of them, but I'd replace a few with these. Like I said, I already had a couple of sticks of this to my bug out bag. Um, I really do like them. Um, that's how much is left. Now, as you saw, I did you know cut off quite a bit of it. But as far as compact, mess-free fire starters go, these weight-wise, um, mess-free-wise, price-wise, can't be beaten. Um, I really honestly think that these are actually better than cotton balls for general purpose fire starting. Um, I'm, I might still carry a few cotton balls for instances where I really need that long burn time, but as far as heat provided, burn, length of the burn, um, these will actually probably be my new go-to general purpose fire starting tenders. Um, they take a spark reasonably well, not as well as a petroleum cotton ball, but they do take a spark reasonably well. I'd say, like I said, about as, in my experience, about equal to um, fat wood. So, in my opinion, they do have a place in your bag. They are very cheap. Like I said, I bought about 12 pack, ended up being about 360, which is about 30 cents of a stick. So, you know, that's cheaper than cotton balls. Uh, so overall, I've been impressed with it. When you use it like it's meant to be used, not that great. But 
when you take your knife, you shred it up a little bit, get those nice little little curls there, you know. Just fluff it up a little bit, doesn't take long. And you can get yourself a nice little fire going with that. Not hard, really easy. Um, I like them, I like them a lot. I suggest you guys pick some up too. Like I said, I'm gonna try to find an Amazon link and I'll post the affiliate link in the description. Um, I'll see if I can find, you know, for those of you who are looking to build bags for multiple people, um, best price I can find. I'm not sure what the cost is gonna be on Amazon because like I said, I haven't purchased them there, but I'm gonna see if I can find something for you guys. Um, so after this video, take a, just take a look down in the description and um, see if I was able to find it. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.